All right. Nice job, guys. Pretty good. Uh, good job. Mm. Sounded good. Uh, Chip, can you get the lights warm? Thanks, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, Chip. Yep. Didn't see you there. Welcome to my uh, music studio slash bedroom. Um, thank you so much for coming okay, to my senior. No, so no, 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 no. What? Please tell me you are not starting with that. What do you mean? This isn't some sort of '90s computer demo where you can say, "Oh, didn't see you there." Do you know how overused that line is? I mean, I thought it was kind of cute. This like... is your senior recital, dude. You got to take it a little more seriously than that. The pinnacle of your college education. And you decide to transition with, oh, hi, didn't see you there? Yeah, you kind of bring up a good point. If we're being honest, you probably should have just kept the mask on. No one wants to see that ugly face of yours. Just play the instrument. You do realize we have the same face. And move on. Okay, look. M me? My brain? I don't know. This is the first type of senior recital that is completely online that I know of. And I thought, you know, instead of just having it be peace and music and... I, I thought I'd make it kind of, you know, fun. Is that so wrong? Look, and I get that, but all I'm saying is, you know, serious event, maybe take it a little bit more seriously. Fine. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go now. Just no more bits. Got it? You're not funny. Just, just stop. So I keep my brain in my bedroom closet? Yes, your brain is stored in the closet because that's where you keep all of your stuff, whether you need it or not. Oh. Don't. Don't do it. No. All right, fine. So the next piece, it... One second. Cool. So, the next piece I will be performing is a piece called Voice of Matsuri Drum by Keiko Abe. I learned this piece last semester with the help of Dr. Pan. I hope you enjoy.
The next piece I will be performing is a piece called Ghost Garden by Adam Hopper. Hop Hooper? Hopper? Hop Hopper? Hoop no more bits. The next piece I will be playing is Ghost Garden. It features one of my favorite hymns of all time.
next piece I will be performing is a piece called The Fifth Wall by Caleb Tonini. Now Caleb is actually a student here at UNA. He was on the quad line with me my sophomore and junior year. He stayed on the quads while I moved to audio and he took over, did a great job. But one of the other things he does is he's an excellent composer. So the reason I asked him to do this was twofold. Number one, I had already played his works before and I really enjoyed playing it. There were some really cool, weird, different ideas that I wanted to try out. Number two is the fact that Caleb does not play drum set, at least not primarily. It's not his main focus of instrument, he doesn't have a ton of experience on it, and I thought it'd be interesting to have somebody who doesn't write for drum set write a drum set solo. And I actually really love what he came up with. Caleb, thank you so much for working with me on this. I really appreciate it. You came up with an awesome solo. And everyone else, now you get to experience it.
One of the best parts of coming here to UNA are the ensembles you get to be a part of. I really enjoyed every one that I was a part of that I got to be in. And one especially that sticks out was the Jazz Combo. The Jazz Combo was UNA's premier jazz group. I got to be in it for the past two years and we got to have a lot of fun doing gigs, hanging out, just playing some good music and learning and growing together as musicians. One of my favorite songs to play with the Jazz Combo was actually a song called Don't Get Around Much Anymore by Duke Ellington. Now this piece is significant in two ways. One, it's just a lot of fun to play. This is just a classic piece, it's a good standard, just really, really fun to play. Number two, this piece of music was actually in the first marching show that I ever watched. When I was in sixth grade, my high school actually played this for their marching band show, and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the entire show, really, but this piece and another piece called Big Noise from Winnetka actually really stuck out to me as being just a lot of fun, and a lot of fun to listen to, a lot of fun to watch. And that was in sixth grade when I was just starting band, and that was a big influence on me to, you know, maybe try this music thing out. So this piece is dedicated to having fun with music at any age level. Hope you have fun with it too. One, two, one, two. I'm blue, The next two pieces have the word uh, blue in the title. Thought it'd be funny. It wasn't. This is Blue Hammers.
So the next piece I'm going to be playing is actually really cool for a lot of reasons. Number one is just the fact that it's a very pretty vibraphone piece. Very nice music. A lot of, lot of fun stuff to play in it. The second reason is actually the location of the shot. For those of you who don't know, W.C. Handy is actually widely considered the father of blues. Blues music. He was actually born right here in Florence, and the Handy House and Museum and also Dr. Carlos Handy were nice enough to allow me into their facility for filming of this piece. This was the perfect environment to film this piece, and it was quite a surreal experience to play blues music in the house where the blues was quite literally born. Hope you enjoy.
First off, I want to thank you so much for watching this far. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me that my work can captivate an audience possibly this long. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. But thank you so much for watching. But enough sappiness. This next song is called One With Everything. It was written by Styx, the rock band. Yes. I'm playing a rock tune in a senior recital. This is at least a closer snapshot of what I want my career to be like in the future. You know, to the extent of I'm playing drum set, but maybe not to the extent of I'm playing all of these notes. I actually reached out to the drummer for this track, Todd Sukerman, hoping I could get a drumless track to play along with. That way you wouldn't hear, you know, drumming god Todd Sukerman, Kyle Blair. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm bad, I'm saying he is beyond amazing. Anyway, he was very kind about it, didn't end up happening, so you will hear Todd Sukerman on this track as well, and he definitely helped me out in a lot of places. But this piece is called One With Everything.
Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This has been such a fun project to work on. I'd like to thank a couple people specifically, Dr. Tracy Wiggins, especially being here the whole time I've been here and putting up with me these past four and a half years. Thank you again so much for all the wisdom that you've imparted and all the help that you've provided for me getting this degree. Special thanks also goes out to Lauren Teal and Dr. Alice Pan for teaching me how to play marimba and keyboard instruments throughout college. It's amazing the amount of progress that I've made on an instrument I knew virtually nothing about coming out of high school, and now I'm playing pieces that I really didn't think I would be able to play. So thank you guys so much for your wisdom and your lessons throughout the years. They've been a tremendous help. And thank you so much also to the drum set instructor here at UNA, Tom Hurst. You've been a tremendous help. We've had two other drum set instructors before him, Pat Patrillo and Rich Redmond. Both were great, but Tom has been the mainstay here at UNA. And he's been instrumental in preparing me for my career outside of college. So Tom, thank you again very much. There are other professors here that I could thank. Uh, I have a laundry list of people that have influenced my career, but this recital is already getting long enough. Thank you all again so much for watching. It truly means the world to me. And as the end credits scroll, please enjoy Anthem by Ivan Trevino with a little Kyle Blair twist thrown in. Mm -hmm.